Whew. That was an interesting attacking game. Okay, let's see what we can learn from this bullet match. It's always learning. Just because you win, it doesn't mean you can't learn. As always, we've always wanting to improve our games all the time. So, going to see what we could potentially do better going forward. So we push through the center, just taking a look at the gauge bar just on the side here. And we captured, doesn't seem to be a major problem with that situation, so that's all pretty steady. Okay, so computer really doesn't kind of like that bishop move. I mean, we've brought it out to develop a piece, also to x-ray through to the queen, so there's defensible rationales all over the place. If you move the queen off of the line, we'd be able to double the pawns up in front of the king. So, seems to be a big enough story for us. And computers looking at attacking here in the centre. But that's again that seems a little bit slow for me in terms of getting the main pieces out. You know, your minor pieces out into the action. So I'm not really going to lose too much sleep over that, I don't think. I think that's like a, that's one of those where I go, well, yeah, it's a slow move. You, you push it out, uh, they might take, if they take, then the bishop takes. It's developing the same piece that's already developed. The bishop's already developed in its own little space. We need to get our team out. So I'm not too happy with that. But again, it's probably showing that it is a better move, but... This is where it comes into challenging the actual computer evaluation and feeling comfortable with what you've done. This move dips in terms of the evaluation for the um, computer, showing that black is more in favor. But for me, I feel comfortable with it because of the explanations I've given. So it's finding that balance between you, within your own playing style. That to me, really, I'm still looking at it now it's a bit slow it's not developing anything it's almost sitting waiting for the opponent to take charge of the game so they push down and then we captured <clears throat> it computer definitely doesn't like this um position um the capturing of the knight um at this stage i felt well bringing the bishop back here is then just going to give the bishop this i did have options of basically saying yes i could open up the file you know the half open file for the rook but in this particular game, I just felt, well, let's get pieces off the board around his king because he's not got these pieces developed. They're sort of stuck in the corner. So the more active we're getting, um, the more the opponent's going to get a little bit antsy. So we expected the queen to come out here, but it's doing something that the opponent didn't want to do. And plus, they haven't developed these other pieces here. So that's why I went for that move. Um, what is the computer actually suggesting? H4 That can't be right can it? Bishop <laughs> to H4 Yeah bringing it back here to come back here and Potentially looking for it getting taken across here. So that's that's what the computer was choosing, but I wanted to be active in Active in this game, so we captured Queen captured so currently it's showing black has been in more advantageous position and we develop our knight. It's not really happy with our knight development either, but I thought, well, let's get the pieces out. We need to get them activated as best possible. And also potentially for support in this, if we were going to start pushing, that would have been an appropriate time to attack something like this, because then I've got more pieces developed and I've got more pieces being able to defend against that attack. So that felt really quite comfortable for me. Also has the aspect of potentially at some stage swinging through to here swinging through to here potentially attacking this area or this area as well so the rook comes through and we look now to develop the bishop we just wanted really to challenge this rook at some point and didn't want the my queen held to ransom supporting the bishop also it's got a nice touch here if they forget themselves at some stage we can get a, a check on win a tempo if they've got their pieces badly positioned so they push through and we capture simply 
and the bishop captures so now we're looking to attack the rook again trying to make them do stuff that they don't want to do he develops his knight and now we can challenge the rook because this nice open file here what I'm thinking is I don't really want my queen stuck on the back here so I'm gonna have to give my queen some space at some point so we grab the rook capture so taking pieces off the board strategically because now the bishop now is stuck like a pawn moving the knight out of the way attacking the bishop gives space for my queen to get to this point here to then look to exchange the rook off smaller piece attacking a higher piece can't be wrong so we push onto the bishop don't see any issues with that so at this stage in time let's just kick back a bit yeah so it's still showing black as advantageous at this stage and with the bishop coming through us taking he's still winning in terms of the computer and then it's coming to a drawn position at this stage so it now depends on what the opponent wants to do so we're going for simple we're looking for the rook to exchange off here nothing grandioso about it so the opponent now looks like they're struggling to find an attacking position so we take advantage of that by attacking a piece that is unprotected which is the bishop still drawn by the computer as, as we can see so now we can attack the rook rook takes queen takes still drawn position now just bringing the queen up slightly potentially for looking towards this side here and looking to exact some sort of attack towards the queen if necessary bishop attacks so we can now go and attack the queen because we've got the support of the knight and the queen moves out of the way probably should have taken it's given us a slight advantage there i'm feeling fairly comfortable with our position at this moment because now the knight can come across it's attacking the pawn here looking for a checkmate if he forgets himself you'd expect the pawn to push down for a simple block but the opponent didn't do that so then we got away with the um, simple pattern checkmate so yeah nice few pointers there but in essence i don't think i would change any of the movements that i made because i had fully um rationalized why i had done my moves i can understand why the computer made their moves but they looked a little bit slow for me and not as impactive and they probably would be impactive you know because it's a computer you know it's looking like 50 moves ahead and all that malarkey um, but for a bullet match especially i think it was half decently clinical for the way that we presented ourselves